Hey YouTube land, this week's uh, video is going to be on our solar panel system that we have for our rabbits to keep them cool. I wanted to go in depth with it uh, in this video. Uh, we'll cut to it later in the video. You'll see I'm going to actually add a fan to the system because we had a defective one from Amazon and they replaced it very quickly. But uh, let me just describe our panel here. This is a 25 watt 12 volt DC panel. I purchased it at Harbor Freight. Uh, normally $65. I got it on sale for $51. It does come with three different types of connection on the back. Uh, a two wire lead, uh, one specifically made for the solar charger, which I'll show you in just a minute. And also for a cigarette lighter outlet. Uh, I guess if you want to charge RV batteries or car batteries in that way, you can do it that way as well. But uh, great system. Um, one thing I'll mention is the reason we have the solar charger system is because this was direct connected to the fans, which means this power source was directly connected to the fans and it would work great while it was sunny, but when God gives us cloudy days, it wasn't working so well. So I uh, researched it some and I'll show you what the setup looks like. Here's Command Central. I have it covered up. Just we're under a canopy of uh, tarps, but just in case, I didn't want any water on it. It's not secure anywhere either right now, but for now, we're just getting started. This is a solar charge regulator that I was talking about. This can take up to 100 watts. Again, my panel is only 25 watts, so this is good for up to four of those panels. Battery side, special connection, comes with these clips here. This is a deep cell 12 volt battery that I picked up at Walmart. You can pick them up on Amazon, Walmart, wherever. Um, I believe it was about $24. Hooks directly to the solar charger. It says right here, solar. And it's made directly a Thunderbolt brand from Harbor Freight. Uh, it hooks, sorry, directly to the solar panel. And then we have the load side, meaning where the power is going to, which is our fans. Uh, the thing I did was I added a light switch first. So we have the red side is the positive side, which goes down to the light switch on one side. And then on the other side, the positive goes to the very first fan. And the negative side doesn't have to go through the switch. It goes directly to the first fan. And the way I differentiated these, this is speaker wire, 16 gauge wire from Amazon. A spool is about $14. One side has a black stripe on it. I just made that negative for me. And the other side with nothing on it, I made positive just so I can differentiate the two. But once it goes to the first fan, right here, I have the fan tied into it, and then I have another set of wires tied in as well, positive, negative, that'll go directly to the next fan. And as you'll see from the clip um, later on in this video, how I attached one of the fans. Here's a, <clears throat> it's a two-pack fan that comes from Amazon, and on our on these videos, I like to try to have uh, all the products in the comments below and the description below. This way it's easy for you to find if you wanted to use the same setup, but you're obviously more than welcome to use anything uh, that you prefer. These are uh, 12 volt, 0.25 amps uh, fans. They run at 1600 RPM. They're 120 millimeter by 120 millimeter. They come in a two pack and they, I believe, are $17.99, um, but I think it's a very good investment. Uh, one of the fans was defective, that's why we're replacing it today, and I have this video to show you, um, but Amazon was uh, quick to send us the replacement, and I'll just send the defective one back. Uh, for this, you'll just need a pair of wire strippers. I believe I bought that on Amazon years ago as well. Tecton brand. 
nothing fancy, but it does the job. Electrical tape. Uh, I've already have the wire nuts on here, but small wire nuts for about 16 gauge uh, wire will work great. And uh, when you first get the fans, all you gotta do, it comes with a little connector, but uh, like I said, we just need a positive negative lead. So I cut off what I don't need. And then just strip back. I have, I mean, that one's close to an inch, three quarters of an inch of wire showing. And then I hook it up. Now this speaker wire, it's just 16 gauge speaker wire. I also found on Amazon, I think it's 14 bucks for a hundred foot roll, uh, more than enough for what we need. One side has the black stripe on it, so I designated that for the negative. And the other side is just clear, so we keep that positive. And all I'll do is, well, I'll make the connections a little bit better. Because from twisting there, I'll frayed. But, oh, we'll do... Take the two positives, take your red positive, and just kind of spin it around, go clockwise as you're turning. And then you put your cap wire nut back on, and give it a good couple twists till, oh. All right, sometimes uh, if you have too much excess wire that I had sticking out here and you keep tightening, it kind of breaks off. So it happens. So I'm gonna go and get another one. This pack of wire connector assortment, I believe I got it at Harbor Freight also. Fairly inexpensive. Lesson learned though, I had it in my drawer in the house upside down when I picked it up, it all fell out. So this is what I have left in there right now. But uh, they have different sizes here. Um, and it tells you how many you should use in case you're unfamiliar with how to use them. But, um, I, I like to use these. Some people prefer butt splices where you crimp both ends, but this to me is the easiest and quickest way. So all you do is twist them on until it's kind of tight and they all start to turn and then you stop. What I like to do, as you can see on the other ones, just put a piece of electrical tape uh, around it so no water or anything can get you down in there but um, it just might be extra protection for my mind <laughs> but yep yeah, that's all we have to do and I'm gonna grab another one for the negative side same thing you have your strands already the negative I kind of just wrap the new one around clockwise. And the reason I do clockwise is because when you're putting on your cap, you're going clockwise as well to tighten it. And you want all the strands to mesh together in the same direction, not go against each other and split apart. So we have that. I guess one of the most important things I should have said in the very beginning is before you do this, make sure you don't have any power on. It is 12 volts DC and you probably won't get shocked, but common practice, best practice, I should say, is to do anything with no power connected. So now that we have it connected, I'm still going to put on the electrical tape, but we're going to test with the light switch and make sure this uh, fan isn't defective. And there we go. Back on solar power, bunnies are happy and they usually tend to lay right in front of it and it actually puts out quite a bit of air. I was impressed. You can put your hand in the cage about halfway back and these are, uh, I think, almost three foot cages deep. So uh, I'll put out another video about uh, the insides, the ins and outs of these cages that uh, I built as well. 
if you have any questions, uh, one of the questions I had when I first made this system was, how is this actually charging and how is it running my fans? Because I was used to the direct connect of the solar panel running the fans. Well, in this setup, it's actually running off the battery. There's an inverter in here that regulates uh, the voltages. The solar panel is charging your battery in the sunlight all day long and the system is regulating the, the voltage from the battery to your fans so therefore on a cloudy day as long as your battery has been charged up long enough your fans will keep running even when it's cloudy so that's the positive side to this <clears throat> but uh, one recommendation i would have is to make sure that you have a fully charged battery before you start the system because if you start with a dead battery and you're using all that energy all day long then by the end of the day when you turn your light switch off you, your battery is still dead it never really had a lot of time to charge so i would just recommend having a charged battery before you start your system and you can buy those too uh, i think uh, about ten dollars it's a 120 volt ac adapter that you plug in to an outlet and it has clips just like these and it'll charge your battery that way so if you have any questions comments again down below i look forward to hearing from you thank you thanks again for watching everybody um, again the solar panel is a great system that we use um, to help keep the rabbits cool there's a couple other things that we do uh, i'll do that in another video when i uh, tell you about uh, those other items and uh, give you the ins and outs of the cages that i built and uh, try to explain that as well in case you're interested in that uh, if you could like, subscribe, and share, I'd appreciate it. Thank you for your time. I know the video may be a little confusing because there's a lot going on in there. So if you have any questions, comments, just uh, let me know down below. And hope you have a blessed day. Take care.